Peace and blessings to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. It's your brother Fat Boy Fish, aka Jehoshaphat. And today, as you can see, we're out in the midst of God's country, but we are at a particular town that was founded in the, the early 1800s by all black settlers. The town in which I'm speaking is, is Allensworth. All these houses that you see, and we're gonna we're gonna tour it a little bit. We're gonna walk around this video right here. It might be a little bit of time, but I want to make sure that I'll, I'll walk to the beginning of the, the town square. Excuse me. But now look at this house, family. This house was made by black people for black people in a time in which our people came out here to forge a better life for themselves. A all black town as you see way over there that's the church right there I see the bell on the top of it and everything let's see if we can zoom in on it a little bit but look what's, look what's said right here read that up for you this is a good looking house right here I could spend my life right here this is that freedom life right here. And they actually got, oh, this is some type of store where they sold stuff. Cause you can see right there, you see like the booth. I hope that you can see it. And that way right there, no, the glasses on it, you can't see it. Let's see if we can see it through this window right here. Nope, you could just see the backdrop from So it looks like some type of store. If you can see inside of it, you can see like the cash register, like right there, and then the stuff like right there that you would buy, like you would buy and sell. So let's start this journey of this walk. Yeah, it's a pretty good size store too. It seemed like every power in this earth was trying to stop me to get to this little town that black people forged and made now a while back on some of my shows that looked like another take the next left at the star avenue then you'll arrive at your destination gpa still doing on this i thought i had exited the navigation i'm sorry but from afar from right there that looked like a like another genuine store let me close because that's heck far to walk right there i don't want to walk all the way over there that's like three blocks but that right there it looks like another little store and the land that i'm around is vast family i mean it's several 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 miles in every little corner and if you can imagine that this was an all black community at one point in the history now let's get a little backstory on where i'm at yeah, a couple a couple shows before I had I had said that it's a lot of towns out here that black people forged and they started all by themselves just to get away from dominant society and try to make something better for themselves and try to have and try to build and try to be together. But you see that back in the day, and this is not far from my city where I live at. It's probably like a hundred miles away from Fresno. But in the courses of the early stages of our history, we always try to separate and get apart and be on our own and try to make our own. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that right there in the in the over there, I'm pretty sure that's the church right there. It's really, 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 really big. But each of these houses have some type of pers um, purpose. Like this look like a stable where they keep like cows and stuff like that. Maybe and it's like a house attached to it. And it's a lot of houses on this property. I'm thinking that this area itself have to be at least 30 miles across and 30 miles long. So it's some good distance. And before I came out, way out here, the only thing that you really can see in coming coming up here, you see all kind of orchards and things where they uh, they produce uh, cash crops. So just imagine any any type of orchard that you can imagine raisins um apricots any type of fruit so it's fertile the land is it, fertile for picking 
I mean, for miles and miles, I mean, city after city, 70 miles longer, just nothing but cash crops being made. Now, they told us when we, when I ventured out here when I was younger, read that up too. When I ventured, when I ventured out here when I was younger, they told us that this town was, it was stopped. Now, this is the, what is this? They told us that this town, that it was stopped because, oh, that's too far, all the way to the church house. That is far, but this is another building. This is like a church too. This whole building right here is kind of, it's kind of nice how they kept it intact. And right now, even though that this was a black town, they didn't want to completely destroy the town, so they made it into a natural park. And I mean, this big family. I mean, it's big. I don't, I don't know how many people lived here at one time, but as you can see, they tried to keep as much of the house, the houses here, like right there under the quarter. That look like another store. It's all kind of stores, and when we're gonna walk all the way to the beginning, the beginning places of this. But the backdrop story of what they told us, they said, well, you know, um, all these houses are built by black people for black people. It's a gang of other buildings and stuff way 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 up over there just like it's a gang but to me this place never it never got a chance to prosper because when we came out here when we was kids they said that it was a drought and it was some environmental problems going on and they couldn't have a water source but you and i both know that that's a lot you and i both know that the dominant oh this is a nice house right here the dominant the dominant society would never want to see your people building on their own having stuff on their own being a set apart people like our father is asking us to do like it's all beat up and you can't really recognize what is what is what is saying what this house was but it served a purpose in this small community for all these black folks who moved out here that wanted wanted a better life yeah y'all can't tell me that this ain't no bad house right here i don't know if you can see it your brother i'm trying my best i don't know if you can see the inside but it is nice family it is nice i wish i would have been born out here as a little kid to be free like living a life like this amongst all our people with houses and towns and stuff like that that is being free family i want to be free i want my people free and then when I when I see stuff like this, see, once more again, another house in December of it was both you can't make it out, but it's some sayings on it, the, the description of what this house was, who house it was, what they names are. And even though these houses and homes is over 200 years old, family, they look good, family. I mean, look at that. Can you see inside of there and see that stuff? Can you see it? It's a whole house up in there, family. They got their bed, they got their little stuff, their chairs and stuff set up and stuff. It look like some old black folk used to live here. Now, I know this door is not going to be open, but I sure wish that door was open so I could look around it and look all up in it. it it's a big old house. Got that little dinner table set up, you know what I'm saying? They got an upstairs going. Oh, it's good. I would be living out here. And as you can see, this land is vast, family. I mean, it's vast. It's a vast land all around, all black settlement. I don't know what that uh, that Jewish star is doing on that. You see on the church? I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to zoom in on it. But it's a Jewish. It's a. It's the devil star. I gotta. I gotta see this up close. Hold up. Okay, now I don't know what symbol that is, but I hope you can see it. Let's rewind this all the way back. Excuse me, I had to do my little running on because that was that's like two blocks down the street. And I don't want this to be forever, but it might be a longer message. But look at that symbol on the church. It has the little um what is that? The little genie, the genie lamp in the middle of it on top of the book. 
with the satanic star around it. I don't know what this symbol is, family. I don't know what type of mess messianic symbol that is, but I'm gonna have to look into that. But this is a church. I don't know why the devil star is on the building. But we'll do our research, family. We're gonna have to come back to that one. Now back to being in this city that was forged and formed by black people. It's a beautiful thing, family. To actually know that our people at one point, they tried to come together. They tried to live together. They said that the only reason why this town, all the black folk had to get up out of here because there was no water source. But you know how dominant society is. They don't want to see your people having their own. And this right here, I'm pretty sure one of my family members would have heard about it and moved out here. Because really in life, what do you need? I don't long for all of this technology and computers. I, I long for a simple life, family. And the only really thing that you need in a simple life is what? You need some cows. You need some chickens, you need some seed, you need to be able to plant, you need to be able to grow your livestock. What else do you need, family? You need to be able to raise your, raise your livestock, raise your cash crops so you and your family can eat. But besides from that, what do you need, family? The bustle of city life, of being surrounded by cutthroat people who only care for a dollar, uh, my uh, Illuminati dollar bill. But I'm cool off of that family. So let's venture off into the the main part of the city. Because I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a body here for it today. But it, as you can see in the sky, I'm seeing chemtrails everywhere. But it's beautiful, family. It's beautiful, family to be out here with my ancestors they made this town trying to get away trying to have their own trying to build their own you got all these black folks talk about we can't do that and we can't they lazy family they lazy they don't want to try their best to try to build their people up and if we can escape and have our own then why not I'll tell you right now they lazy they don't want to get up off in these fields and be picking cotton like their ancestors did they don't want to they don't want to plant what they eat they don't want to raise up their cattle they don't want to do none of that but what do you really need in life people are trapped up on modern day life and, and living in cities i'm not trapped up on that family if i could have lived out here it's peaceful family don't get me wrong i don't see no active water but i don't understand why they th they didn't make some type of um when it when it was hard it rains out here in california it rains a lot so I don't know why they didn't try to dig no canal or ponding basin or nothing like that. I don't understand. So to me, it seems like they was forced to get up out of here. I was trying to find my page where I did my, my history check. I mean, every principality in the world was coming after me trying to make it out here, family. That's a damn shame. And all I'm trying to do is bring to y'all just a little bit of truth for this day. That's the damn shame about it. And it ain't even gonna take that long. It took me two hours to get here. But then, it's not even that far. So even my, uh, the little computer was messing with me trying to, oh, I mean, all kind of stuff. The police was called up on me, all kind of stuff, family. Y'all just don't know. I be trying. Now, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. But it looked like, you know what I'm saying, like something is feeding in. Either it comes out of here or it goes in. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. But it's some type of big old giant. The, the plot where I'm at, I don't think it was a house right here. So I think they used this for this purpose. And this is one of the machines that they use to produce in their fields to cut up all. Because I don't know what type of bin this is either. But it's like some type of seed grinder. Because it's like a blade for twisting up something. So I don't know, family. I don't Maybe some of y'all farmers out there, y'all know what this is and what it was used for. But it looks old. It looks very, very, very old. 
Okay, let's get back on the main road to get to the point of the town, man. I'm telling you, family, this land is massive, family. It's massive. Okay, let's do a little backstory drop. In 1842, Allen's Allenworth, that's the name of the city where I'm at right now, the black town where I'm at right now, it's Allensworth. But in 18, 1842, Allensworth was born. He died, he died at the age of 72 in 1914. Ooh, I gotta find a better way to get around this. I don't want all this in my shoes. Hold on, family. Now I'm just gonna run across it. Get it. Ah, ah. Ah, to the road, yeah. Now, backdrop, okay, Allens, Allensworth, he died in, um, in 1914, and he was 72 years old, 72 years old, he served in the United States Navy, and he served in the United States Army, he, his ranking, he was a lieutenant colonel, he was the founder of, Cal he was the founder of Allensworth, California, the city where I'm at, now maybe this is a back house, they had, ooh, I can actually open it up and everything. Ooh, I hope it ain't no snakes up in here. If it's a boogeyman in here, I'm gonna punch you in your face. Yeah, this is a back house. Oh yeah, I'll be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Doing my little porty potty business. We be good, family. Does it work? No, they got it. They got it sealed down, but I, that's a toilet right there. This is a back house. See, your brother respectful, I put stuff back. But where does all the feces go? Oh, it's another door in the back of it. Damn, this got electricity and power up in here. I guess they took that part out. But, your brother respectful, I close it back up again. All right, off to the next one. Now this right here, this look like a chicken. It look like a chicken cage. Like they be putting chickens up in there. It still look like it's intact and everything, family. Debo had me sweating like a slave. I had to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> now nah, this one got a lock on it, but it looks like it looks like they kept their chickens up in there. But this is a, a small house. It's a small house. It looked good, family, but it looks like a small general store or something because I walked all the way to the front, the front of the, um, the town. Now, when you first get off the road, and it looks like a small gen genuine general store. What does that say? Oh, us give us this day our daily bread. Yeah, it looks some it looks like some type of market. I don't know if you can see it from the backdrop. Cause that's food right there on the counter. Yeah, it looks like There's rooms in the back. It's a big old iron stove right there against the back where the pans is hanging. So it looked like some type of corner store or something. So let's go to the, the, the front of town. I don't know what that building is right there, but maybe we'll journey over there too. So he was a general and and he was a colonel, a colonel in the United States Army. And this is the address of the place. That's a picture of him right there. So when people tell me that my people, that we don't try, my people, we didn't have a plan, my people wasn't trying to do something with themselves, even though they had nothing, they still try to make something out of nothing. All the time, family, that's your people right there, they try to, with the little scraps that they was given, they was trying to make something monolithic out of it, and they was doing it, but your government hates your people, family. California African American Pioneers. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Cause I definitely can't see it from the what you call it. And he got all the backstories just like with Colonel Allensworth. So go ahead and read about uh Nat Harrison and Allen B. Light. They all had their stories. Is it? Is it all these people? They was founded. They was finding. Well, they was pioneers. You know what I'm saying? They was pioneers. Did they find? That they found their own town itself? I don't know, family. I would have to take my time and read all of that. But here go our state seal and the memorial. 
It was uh, established in 1908. Basically all the information that I got. But family, once more again, it feels good to be somewhere where my people tried their best to make something of themselves and they built this town with their hard work. They hard, they they sweat, they sweat or they brow, they built this town and they did the best that they could to take their people out of the oppression that they, that they was in. So I look at stuff like this and I admire stuff like this, family. I really do. Allen's Allenworth was born into slavery in Kentucky. He escaped during the American Civil War and became a Union soldier. Later, he became a Baptist minister and educator and was appointed as a captain in the United States Army. He was the first African American to reach the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He planted numerous churches and in 1908 he fought, he founded Allensworth, California, the only town in the state to be founded, financed and governed by African Americans during the American Civil War. He escaped by journeying joining the 44th Louisiana volunteer and later served 2 years in the Navy after he or he began he was ordained as a minister he worked as a teacher he studied th theology and led several churches okay now i don't know i don't know what this building is right here i don't know what it is but it's a really big building i mean it's it's real big family I don't know what they used it for. It could be another store. It looked like another store. Oh, this door is locked. I can't get inside of it. Oh, it's big. It got two stories at the top of it and everything. It's a two-story building. That's why. Oh, they sell merch. They sold merchandise and and goods because it looked like 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 guns. I see guns at the bottom. That could be a gun at the bottom that they sold. Let's go around the other side. And on this side right here, I don't know if you can see it, family, but it's like one of them old time stores that you see in the cowboy movies in like the 1800s. And they go get all their stuff. I see a, a weight. So they sold fruits and vegetables and seeds and all kind of stuff up in here, family. It's a gang of stores. So they can't say, oh, well, we was lacking off a product. Can't say that. Your people, they forced this town. And the only reason why they was ran out of here is because they said, oh, it's no water or they don't have no water source. I think that personally was a plot i do family i think that that was a plot to try to get your people from stop farm, uh, uh forming this town they lived here for a hundred years family even when even when the the environment situation that changed and they couldn't get no no water and they went through all of that drought it, it was so much of them that had love for their people who stayed here even though Allensworth died and they knew that they was forced to leave, it took generations for them to leave here because this is where they came from. This is where their family was and they knew how hard it would be in the rest of the dominant society. Now, look at this house family that your people built. It looks damn good if you could see it the way that I could see it family because I'm here in the moment right now and it, it looks damn good. It looks like a house that in my city they would charge me at least like eighty thousand dollars to buy it. But your people built this with their hands, with their people. A all black town family, all black people around. Let's okay, let's keep on reading. <clears throat> Okay, uh, during the American Civil War, he escaped by journeying, by joining the 44th uh, Volunteer and later served two years in the Navy after being ordained a minister. He, he worked as a teacher, student of theology, and led several churches. In 1880 and 1884, he served as the only black delegate from Kentucky in the Republic National Convention in 1886. He gained an appointment at an appointment as a military chaplain to a unit of buffalo soldiers in the west and served in the united states army for 20 years reti retiring in 1906 in addition to his work in developing churches he was notable for founding the township of allensworth california in 1908 he was intended as 
and all black community all through environmental conditions and and habitat is is its success as a farming community and res residents abandoning it after a few generations much of the farmer's town has been preserved as the colony allensworth state historical park they told me that this town was made by black and and for blacks and thrived for generations and all of this was all of this was abandoned their dreams because of a water source was depleted and no no ways of founding a new one i asked i ask you here today what was the real reason this town was abandoned by the population so the story that they give me about how this town was abandoned and how they couldn't find a water source i feel that that was a plot the plot you know you know what i'm saying look at all this land family i mean for miles for 30 miles this way there's nothing but fields to plant 30 miles 30 to 40 miles in every single direction i might turn there was nothing and no one so they picked the perfect place to have a town and if if them people would have left them alone family all of this would have been expanded into a city it would have been a city out here, family. Uh, uh, it was already a full city. It was already a full city. But it would expand it over the years. So 2017, if they would have left your people alone and just let them thrive in this town, family, how big, how beautiful, how strong would our nation be here in California? My, I'm telling you right now, my people would have heard about it. When my people, uh, when they journeyed from, um, uh, where, did, where they come from, um, I don't want to say Kentucky, but um, Oklahoma. When my people came from Oklahoma and Texas, they went to L.A. That's where the largest amount of my grandparents, when they came out to California, they moved directly to L.A. Because that's where all the black folk was. Read that up, family. Read that up a little bit. This is the Smith house right here. It looks like a one, two, three, four, five, five bedroom house. They was doing it big, family. They was doing it big, family. Just to be here, family, is a it's a blessing, family, to see all of this, family, all black. You can only imagine how how it was popping, family. How it was popping up in the, the early 1900s. You can only imagine. Look at that big old key, the uh, piano. This is a nice house. They got all kind of stuff, family. They got an old record player. It looked like it can be inhabited right now. <laughs> But they have closed this place off and has turned it into a national state park because they didn't want to destroy the, the complete uh, memory of what your people did out here. Now this right here, this is like an old town barbershop. I'm only saying that because of this barber stick pole. You know what say? Yep, there go the barber's chair. I hope you can see it. The barber's chair gets you cut up. Get your hair cut. You see all them seats. You know what I'm saying? They had it popping up in this town, family. They had it popping. They had a little bit of everything. And the buildings that you see here now, those are the buildings that was able to mat to, to survive. And they had it refurbished. They had it redid. So you can only really imagine what this town looked at like when Allensworth founded this town in 1908. Uh, the population it was a lot of people you know what i'm saying it wasn't just like oh it was a couple hundred black people or thousands of black people living here family so you can only imagine how beautiful it was how big it was how expanded it was family so i see stuff like this and it gives me hope family that one day maybe my people can wake up and understand that they are a great nation within this nation one day my people can wake up and understand that we can do all things if we are willing to help each other and build each other up it can't be done i don't have no time for no sorry negroes that say that we can't do it i don't have no time for no sorry negroes that say that it can't be done you see here today that this town was built over a hundred years ago and it still stands to this day so anything that the black man and the black woman put their hands to god will bless but it's up to you, my brothers and sisters, to come out of that pit of destruction and hatred towards your own because 
our, our grandparents didn't have the hatred that we carry towards ourselves. And with the love that they had towards one another, it was enough to build, to build an empire and to build something great. I don't have no time for no lazy Negroes. I don't have no time for no Negroes that can sit here and say that we can't and we won't. And we I don't have time for them, family. We are a great people. And anything that we do, it will prosper because our father has promised. But it takes us, family. It takes us to lift one one another up and be in each other's corner to have something great in this life we can't do it alone family we cannot sit here and do these things alone we need each other we need to help each other we need to build together we need to love each other and you see these sorry negroes and what they say you see these sorry negroes and how they always try to tear each other apart and don't want to build too too worried about stabbing your brother in the back than trying to help your brother build something great like your ancestors did damn your ancestors built this nation your grandparents they built cities in which they wanted you to inherit but you see that your government will not let that happen. So we have to fight for what is ours, family. We have to fight for our babies. We have to fight for our young ones. We have to fight for our future. Because without us sitting here together as black women and black men trying to make something, we won't have nothing and we'll never be nothing. And I don't, I'm, I'm not talking to you sorry Negroes that's listening to this message, getting a suckle talking about you can't. I came out here to prove to you that we can. This is a whole black town founded by black for black built with black sweat off of the black brow. You can only imagine how beautiful, how great, how wonderful that this place was when our people founded it. I don't have no time for no sorry Negroes that don't want to build. I don't have time for sorry Negroes that don't that want to constantly kill each other. I'm only directing my energy for my black folk out there that wants to be something better, to have something better better and to be better in this life now i will finish this documentary with telling y'all that i love y'all and i'm gonna fight for you i'm gonna do all that i can for you because you my people and it is my job to love you if you only seen the obstacles that came against me just to get me in the center of this all black town father i feel good to be in the ambulance of my ancestors and all of their creation even though i'm the black the only black soul here family even though I'm the only black soul here. So we gotta we gotta fight, family. We gotta take back our children. We gotta take back our communities. We gotta take back our neighborhoods. And I don't want to hear nobody say that it cannot be done. Now I will end this this documentary with saying that I love y'all and we gotta try, family. We gotta build together for us to have everything. God is good to us. He has always been good to us. And we have the knowledge, we have the gifts, we have the skills anything that we put our minds forth but this unity this peace and this love and this understanding of the black man and the black woman to build something great you say that you want to build for your children well we have this chance now and we got to stop hating each other for we can have so we can have anything peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world and you already know your brother do not celebrate no damn thanksgiving Today, I am thankful to be in, a, in the memory of this city that my ancestors have built, built for our embetterment to try to have something great that we ain't never had. We ain't never had it, family. But you see, the will is here. Come on, family. We can do this, family. We can do this. We can come together, family. We did it before. We can do it now. But peace and blessings be upon you in Jesus Christ's name, for he is the Lord.